just wonder at the end of my 25th year who am i going to be hi hello everyone i'm coming to you live from a new environment i have my phone ready to be used as a microphone because the ac in the hotel was tweaking and i didn't know how to turn it off off but now it's off off it's off off and like i feel like i should sit down for this yeah Hi, I'm Simone Danielle. If you're new here, get comfortable. You came on a very good day. I have been drinking it just a little bit, but <laughs> happy new year. Happy 2024. Or I know for a lot of us, including myself, it has been feeling like we've already been moving in the energy of 2024, in the energy of newness, right? And that's a blessing in itself. Like even if we're not instantly seeing the fruits of our labor, with working towards moving so steadfast. I feel like that's the word I want to use, so I'm going to claim it. Moving so steadfast, it's still a blessing to even be in that energy of newness because being in that energy, it, it sparks so much inspiration and new ideas. If there's something that you've been manifesting, right, say it's money, right, it may not come to you in a form of money. It may actually come to you in a form of an idea that's going to be worth like, what, twenty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. You never know. That's part of the reason as to why it's so important to follow your intuition, especially when you're in a season of manifesting stuff. Like, bro, you just never know what is gonna lead you to what, or what's gonna lead you to where. This past December has been very transformative for me. I'll say the last two to three weeks, to be honest. That's when spirit really started to like turn up on me saying, you need to serve in your authenticity. You know, I've been hearing that all year, but it's just, it's like, what these bitches want from me? Cause I'm doing what I think is right. Like how much deeper can this shit go? And I finally figured it out, which is exactly why my channel has taken a turn for the best. One of my main blockages with creating was feeling like I needed to have a balance with what I created. Like, yes, I enjoy creating vlogs. I enjoy creating other kind of content that is separate from talking about things that aren't really talked about or like providing a unique perspective on situations and things and whatnot. Like I enjoy making content outside of that. And I felt like there needed to be some type of balance with that because a lot of people don't want to hear all the deep stuff all the time or they don't always want to watch all the surface level clothing hauls and makeup shit they don't they don't care about that so it got to be a balance i'm gonna get the people what they want i notice how even if i'm under the influence right i always just want to get to the root of things and it could be, it could literally be about anything as long as we're just digging beneath the surface and not afraid of what people are gonna think of us because of what we're saying during this high. Like, I don't wanna kill the vibe, so let me just keep it surface level, let me keep things light. I know I'm not the only one who be in my head about stuff like that, but yeah, when I'm under the influence, I be, I just be, I could talk. The more I keep growing, the more I keep experiencing things and going through things, <laughs> the more I have shit, the more shit to say, like. And it spills out whether I'm 140% in my right mind or intoxicated or under the influence. Like, it just, shit just come out. Serving in my authenticity all 2024, that's the vibes. That's why I feel called to separate these two worlds that i got going on right because yeah i enjoy doing this but that's not what i'm called to do and put out i'm called to talk about some things touch on some things because people need to hear it whether i feel like there needs to be a carnal balance or not aside from me feeling like there needed to be balance with the type of content that i put out right i really was downplaying what I had to offer to the world. And I can honestly say it, it was a big imposter syndrome moment. Like, who am I to talk about these things? Who am I to try to shed light on these things? Who am I to feel like my perspective is just a say-so energy? Like, 
this is so because I say so type of thing. Even then, I'm not trying to say like my perspective is just right all the time or whatever, but it damn sure makes people think I will give you that. I give myself that. It makes people think. And that's what I can really appreciate about what I bring to the world when I talk, when I talk about things. So, you know, I was really just downplaying myself and I'm not doing that shit no more. I'm not. And also I was really focused on making sure things came off right. Like I didn't offend anyone. You can't please everybody with what you have to say or what you have to do for your life. You, you can't, it's impossible. And I've learned that. Even when I felt like I had it right, like, okay, there's no way that people are gonna come for me <laughs> after I've worded it like this. There's absolutely no way. But there's always gonna be somebody coming for you because, 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 <laughs> just because. And that's cool too. The next thing I wanna talk about is stepping into my power, right? And just having confidence in who I am. Like the things that I, dis the new things that I discover about myself, I've had to have confidence in. And I'm currently still working on that. Something that I'm realizing is just because I discovered something about myself and I don't know what to call it. I don't, I don't have a title for it. Like, what, what do I call this? What, you know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't mean that I am not qualified to have confidence in that aspect of me. That unidentifiable aspect of me, that does not mean that I just need to shy away from showing that to the world and sharing that. For example, sometimes I be trolling, but like a lot of times I be dead ass when I say like, bro, niggas like psychic. <laughs> to ignore something like that, something so powerful and something so potent, and then to ignore it out of fear, f that, that's a gift. That is a gift and you need to use it wisely. If you feel like you are being called forth to do something or called to a path that may have you ending up cutting some ties, burning some bridges and you know what I'm saying? All that, it may have you ending up lonely. Go for it, do it. Because while you're on that path, you're going to run into so many people who are actually for you and they're gonna support what you do genuinely. They might even be walking the same path as you. You never know. I feel like my inner being really knew what I was supposed to be doing the whole time because I've seen the results regarding success when I am on purpose. I hate to be so close-minded with this, but this is kind of like the only example I have right now, but say you're a content creator, right? And you be posting videos about whatever, gaming, makeup, what whatever you're into, you be posting videos like that, right? Say you start posting videos about helping women becoming more confident in themselves or men, right? And you get a lot of views off of that. You get a lot of traction off of that in every aspect across the analytical board, right? Okay, the numbers is up. That's what you need to be doing. And not speaking from a sense of <laughs> shake that ass for the algorithm as, what's her name? <laughs> Bria Jones, I was gonna say Bria Gordon, who is that? Bria Jones, she be saying shake that ass for the algorithm. That shit's so funny, but like, not even speaking from a POV of that, but just like speaking from the point of view of your purpose, your, your, your purpose is to help women gain more confidence in themselves and just evolve as a woman, as a divine feminine being, you know what I'm saying? And you bridge the gap between whatever stage they're at with their, pur their, their purpose, their journey, and where they need to be, where they should be. You help bridge that gap. So you need to be making more content surrounding that. And that's how I feel with what I'm doing. But like I was saying, it was just, it was just so many limiting beliefs in a way. And they was buried deep. It was buried deep. I thought I found all the limiting beliefs within myself surrounding what I'm supposed to be doing and whatnot, but apparently I did not. But I think I have now. I definitely think I have now. And that's the thing, you can't be scared. Like. You can be scared, but you have to do it afraid. Like you have to do it afraid. And my thing is if you're gonna do it, you might as well find ways to eliminate that fear and just do it from a, a, a freeing, 
energy, you know? I'm gonna say funner, I don't care. It's funner that way. It is. It's very lighthearted and it feels, it feels good to just do you with no shame or no fear about how people are gonna look at you. What are they gonna say? Are they gonna, are they gonna scold you? <clears throat> are they, oh. <clears throat> Are they gonna scold you in the comments? Are they whatever, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, at the end of the day, if you're gonna be afraid, do it afraid. Even if you're doing it afraid, that's still kudos to you because you're still bound to get the same, if not better results from doing it afraid than you are to get it from doing it in like a lighthearted point of view. You're facing your fears. You're doing it anyway, regardless of how you feel, you know what you need to be doing. I think the last thing that was a limiting belief it kind of ties into the imposter syndrome right when i think about what i'm really good at and what i'm being called to do and how those two things align it's like okay i need a name for this i, I need a title for this i really don't but a title would make me feel comfortable you know it would make me feel it would make me feel good to be honest <laughs> Be real honest with you, it makes me really good. I went to Google and I'm just like, I'm looking up these words that I know and I'm like, all right, I'm just doing deep dives. And the best title that I can come up with for myself is an alchemist. I'm a alchemist. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I'm an alchemist, okay? I'm an alchemist. I don't need no piece of paper to tell me what I'm qualified to do. My experience qualifies me. Spirit, God qualifies me. Whatever you want to call this man, he qualified me. Yeah, with all that being said, I have decided to start a new channel on YouTube for basically like the things that I like to do. The whole nine outside of what I'm called to do on this specific platform. So if what I'm called to do on this platform right here specifically does not resonate with you then feel free to strictly be subscribed to my lifestyle channel you know what i'm saying it's gonna be a good time over there but it's also gonna be a good time over here but with that being said um i hope you guys have a wonderful 2024 i know i am you know i'm not even finna sit up here and say i hope i'm declaring it on all y'all lives anybody who come across this video i'm declaring it on your life that 2024 is 2024 is your year it's your year. As long as you feel it, as long as you know it, claim that and follow everything else that comes after that. Bye. <laughs>